plaintiff, Jessica Ransom, dated the defendant, and she claims their relationship was toxic. Jessica claims one night the defendant attacked her after falsely accusing her of sleeping with his cousin, and she's suing him today for breach of contract. Defendant Frank Taylor says he and Jessica casually dated, and while they were together, they were young and dumb and both made mistakes. Frank's countersuing for emotional distress. All rise. This court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Greg Mathis presiding. You may now be seated. Start with you, ma'am. Okay, so in 2008, I met Frank Charles. Um, we were friends at first, and once we became romantically involved um, and had our daughter, our relationship w became toxic. And when was um, that? In 2010. How so? What was going uh, on? It consisted of every kind of abuse, from alcohol abuse to physical abuse on both our parts, Your Honor. Okay. Uh, in 2016, Frank Charles accused me of sleeping with his cousin. And um, as a result, he put his hands on me, Your Honor, and lumped me up, Your Honor. And I just, it, it, it's rough. Did you go to the police? No, not that okay. time. All right. What else you want me to know? So we also suffer from, we, both abuse alcohol and that contributes to a lot. Okay. Um, so after a while, you know, and dealing with that, I finally gave up on Frank Charles and I started to pick up my pieces, pick up the pieces of my life and try and rebuild it. Good. Did you overcome your alcohol? Did you overcome the alcohol abuse? It's a, it's an everyday battle. Mm -hmm. That's right. It's an everyday battle. Good. Um, that you're battling. I'm trying to overcome. There you go. <laughs> Good. Yeah, I'm working on it. I'm willing to, to level up and, and take it to the next level and heal and get better in your eyes. Okay. But like I said, I was dealing with depression, post-traumatic stress disorder. I was drinking. I dropped out of school. My life just, you know, was spiraling downhill fast. So... I finally got tired of my own stuff, Your Honor, honestly, and I decided to make a change. Let me hear from you, sir. You give me some background now. Uh, let me see. <sighs> um, okay, he's so high off weed, so let me get back to you. Uh, <laughs> let me know when you're ready. Mm. Let me know when you're ready to talk. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm ready. I don't right. smoke, though, Your Honor, but... Okay. I mean, we, yeah, we had a little relationship in the past, but I don't, uh, yeah, it, it was crazy. At first, we was young, dumb, so a lot of stuff took place, but so he, yeah, look different, look crazy. I don't really mess with it. Uh, I don't really got too much to say about it. I mean, I passed okay. in the past. How long? Up, okay, I thought she said y'all dated for like eight years. No. How long did y'all date? Often. I mean, I knew her. I knew her for for sure. I did know her. We saw messing around, but we weren't dating. You know what I mean? Like, okay. You were dating in 2010, or at least one night, because you had a baby together. That's not dating. We see yeah, that wasn't. That's not dating. That was a date. Yeah, we had a baby that was together. a date. That was a date. One night could be a <laughs> date. Yeah, like back. Like we was young and dumb. You feel me? That's why I have a child together. together. Not for real. I just stayed at her crib for nights, you know, a couple of days. She didn't want me to go nowhere type stuff. Okay. You were spending the um, night yeah. and not dating. Like, I, I ain't never had no clothes at her crib or no, you know what I mean? Okay. No stuff like that. All right. So, ma'am, he says you all really didn't date. I'm sure he wouldn't jump on you about his cousin <laughs> if y'all wasn't dating. So, you but, do what, what you cousin wanted. is she talking about? Ma'am, you can bring something up that you haven't been accused no, of. No, he accused me. He accused he me, Your didn't. Honor, and there's some pictures, too, on pages one through three that I submitted. Mm -hmm. um, what is it? Tell take me. a look at it, Your Honor. I was asleep, and this man came talking about I slept with his cousin, and I know it, it wasn't Ooh. true. Okay, she and ma'am, ma'am, you told me that you have a text that will confirm or prove that he alleged that you slept with his cousin. 
I didn't see that text. That's the situation. Okay. And he that, deni um, he denies it, and you have no proof. So let's move on. You have I, proof that you all fought because you told me you fought all the time. Mm -hmm. So you have proof of that. Yeah, yeah, I see the fight evidence. All right. Now, what's the one thousand dollar breach of contract for? The breach of contract, Your Honor, honestly, is not even about the money. It's okay. principles. It's the point that Frank Charles always lies. He doesn't do what he says he's going to do. It's just always chaos and negativity when it comes with him, to him and nothing is ever right. And as I'm working on myself and trying to move forward, it's setting me back at the same time. And I just want us to be able to get it together before it's too late. He so, said y'all weren't even dating. What's all? What are you talking about? Get together and change, and we want if we want to do it right. What are you talking about? He said you're not even dating. Your Honor, that just goes to prove that that he can't be truthful about anything. Do you have evidence that you yes, all? Yes, I have evidence for this breach of contract. No, we're that talking he, about dating, man. Um, all right, we're talking about dating. So let's move away video. from that. Pardon? You have a video that shows what? That Frank Charles does what he wants. He doesn't do anything that we agree upon. He um, will agree upon one thing and he'll do another. He's going to bring my, bring my daughter home. Okay, so that's what He's you're talking about, your child. By okay, that's what you're talking about, the child. I thought she said y'all dated for like eight years. No. How long did y'all date? Often. I mean, I knew her. I knew her for, for sure. I did know her. We saw a mess around, but we won. She dated her. You know what I mean? Like, okay. You were dating in 2010, or at least one night, because you had a baby together. Plaintiff Jessica Ransom dated the defendant, and she claims he attacked her after falsely accusing her of sleeping with his cousin. Let's see what you have for me. What do you want to show me? Here he go, outside in my house. He's supposed to be bringing my baby, but he by himself. So where's she at, Frank Charles? Well, then why is you here and not her? What's up? I don't get it. I don't answer, understand. Man. That's not what we said, babe. What's wrong? Okay. And what uh, about the forty dollars? Yes, Your Honor, and the $40 is just the breach of contract. He said that he would uh, give me $40. Your Honor, I admit it was for marijuana, but that's just another example of him not doing what he says he's going to do. Okay. So after he agreed upon giving me that, I go over there, and I never got it. Okay. Um, and this $40 was going to be used to go to a uh, legal dispensary? <laughs> Uh, for a state that has recreational uh, uh, drugs? Yes, Your Honor. What state is that? Illinois. You can go and get your weed without lying. Huh? I was there yesterday. You don't even have to lie yeah. anymore. <laughs> you don't have to limp when you're going there. <laughs> Hold my shoulder. Uh, yeah, my shoulder. <laughs> All right. So All right. And you're saying because he promised you and wouldn't give it to you, you... Uh, think that I should order him to do it. It goes back to the- What did you agree to do? Dollars. What did you agree to do for the $40? I agreed to spend it on weed. Okay. So in order to have an agreement, you have to have both sides agree to do something. Otherwise, it's a gift. And gifts are not enforceable until they are made. Otherwise, that's called a promise. <laughs> and people break well, their promise honest. all the time. He promised you he wouldn't cheat. He promised you he wouldn't mess with no women. You can't sue him yeah. for that when you catch it. <laughs> Let me hear from you, sir. I don't mess with shorty. I don't talk to her. I don't text her. I don't call her. I don't check. I don't mess with her at all. You hear me? Yes, I went to her crib to go get my laptop. My well, my daughter laptop for you her to go to uh, school house, through, through Zoom. 
You know what I'm saying? Just for her to go to school. I don't go over there. I don't bother with her. Something wrong with her. You feel me? <laughs> and like I say, I will mess with her when I was young and dumb. I know better, so I do better. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, she asked me for $40. Uh, for, for, she asked me, she was like, baby, can I get some money? I said, no, immediately. No, we ain't cool. We ain't, we ain't, we ain't none of that. Why are you riding past my house, Just Your Honor? Why are you riding past the house all the time? Trying to I see don't. who's over there. That sounds yeah, like I, you I, in I love. I do not go past up for you. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't do none of that. You in love. You that. You're a lover. You're a laptop. You're a lover. You're in love. Right by her house. <laughs> no, right no, stalking uh, her. You a stalker. Every, no. <laughs> Let me read your no, evidence. No. I'm going to read her evidence. She got, okay, she got text messages where y'all talking. And this is this text message from Frank. Baby, I've never loved anyone <laughs> like I love you. And I'm going oh, oh, dri- to keep, keep driving by just to see you when you walk out the door. <laughs> And if you see my blue station wagon (laughs) coming by, please just consider waving. All I need is a wave. Come on, I never owned a station wagon. I would never text nothing like that to her. I I talk to her every once, three, every three, four months. I don't talk to her. What's your counter She lies so much that she'll believe all that. What's your counter suit? with this girl at all. What's your counter suit for 2000? Why does she owe you for emotional distress? Um, I had nothing to have a counter suit for, to be honest. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't deal with it. I have nothing. I don't deal (laughs) with it. You hear me? They just said, it's for emotional. I got to call out two days in a row for two jobs. The only way you don't deal with me is financially. But when you riding past my house and stuff, you want to deal with me. When you calling me, uh, Dude. blowing me up. Like I say, what does he say when he call you? What does he say? I don't call her. I don't text her. What does he say when he call you? On this day, on this day that we talking about, but when I asked for the weed money, he called and he was like, uh, what happened to you last night? I'm looking at the phone. What? Huh? He like, oh, I got the wrong number. Yeah. So we get off the phone. So I call him back. And that's why I was like, it's my lucky day. What up, baby daddy? I asked him for the $40. You know, I'm thinking he liked me today. Let me go get the money going about my day. What did you agree to do for the $40? I agreed to spend it on weed. Okay. So in order to have an agreement, you have to have both sides agree to do something. Otherwise, it's a gift. Plaintiff Jessica Ransom dated the defendant, and she claims he attacked her after falsely accusing her of sleeping with his cousin. All right, you still haven't said anything that demonstrates he has any interest other than riding by the house, and he said he doesn't even have a station wagon. Never had. I would never drive a station wagon. I know it. I know it. I don't even smoke weed. Why do I should support her habit? I don't That's smoke right. sweds, black and mad weed, and I'm about to give you some money to do something. I don't even smoke. You know what I mean? No, I told her no immediately. When she came back, you I said, "Well, my you daughter." Agree upon it. That's the point. Quit saying stuff, and you had no intentions on giving it to me. You just oh, wanted to see me and harass right. me and emotionally distress me. Period. Point blank. That's why we here. You doing it now. You been doing it. I'm tired of it. Say, we done. Ma'am, we well, go. ma'am, I can't grant you $40. That was a promise. Your emotional distress is regarding relationship issues. And people don't get emotional distress for relationship issues. Y'all probably going to be back together time you leave no. here. Your Honor. No. Your Honor. No, no, sir. <laughs> sir, sir, you said it's okay. not really about the emotional distress, and you haven't yeah. proven it. This is between you and your girlfriend, so I can't grant you any emotional distress. <laughs> <laughs> Both of your claims are dismissed. You're so petty, and you know you're full of it. I can, can I dismiss Lies this conversation like right now? Lies like that. <laughs> <laughs> 